Good morning once again, and welcome to Skill by Day. Day 18, learning how to draw. All right, so as I've said before, I am following guides to see how quickly I can learn how to draw. Um, today we are on the fourth day of our second tutorial here. And yesterday, what we did was just draw lines of equal, generally equal length, and try to space them equally. Today, we're going to raise the bar here by making some squares. Starting out with those equal lines, I'm going to make some pluses and then put some, put some squares around those. Again, this is all eyeballing it. So the closer it looks, or the more it looks like a square, the more I'm actually supposedly improving or getting better. So let's go ahead and open up the canvas and get started. Let's check my pencil here. I've got, okay, I'm going to use the technical pen here just for ease of seeing it. I've got a plus, and then using the eyeballing it method. I mean, that's close. It's got kind of a hairdo top there. They seem to keep getting smaller and smaller. Right, so the goal is to have, like, uh, in the second one here, we go one, two, three, four squares, and then we've got a big square, you know, around it. Hopefully, the one, two, three, and four are all the s generally the same size. So if you look at these, let me switch to my pencil here so we can... So if you look at these, this one and this one, it's like, no way. No way. There we go, okay. All right, so the second part is to draw X's and then put a square on the X's. So this is kind of introducing angles. All right, so let's, let's try that. We're gonna have, see because I'm eyeballing. And again, we want those one, two, three, four to be all the same general size there. And as I've said before, these are all just like warm up techniques. I'm not actually like making box art here, right? This will also help practice with the short lines from like way back when. I can't remember what day it was, but come on, just try to do some like straight lines, right? I think that was like the seventh or eighth exercise that uh, I did. It'd be like day ten, maybe eleven. I don't know. I'm not an expert on this stuff. 
I'm just reading and trying Yeah, that's one thing that drives me crazy is people, like, get on and, like, oh, this is how you do it. This is the perfect way. And if you do it this way, you will always... Oh, what am I doing? Not even thinking. Like, if you do it this way, then you're always going to do it right. I'm like, no. Nah. No, nah, thank you. Dude, it's art. I mean, everything is subjective. You know, I'm sure some somewhere in this world, somebody could take, like, somebody would take what I'm doing right now, just a, a page full of black and white boxes with, like, that look like windows. And say, hey guys, look, I'm going to sell this art for $10 billion. I don't know if you won't buy it, but, you know, hey. Isn't that what they say? Art is subjective, right? You can... Was it some dude decided one day it'd be a good idea to take a picture of a toilet in a field, and then all of a sudden it's like fine art. And then you had every per non-artist in the world out there going, I could have done that. Yes, you could have, but did you? And then the second part is just marketing, right? I mean, I feel like artists are really good marketers. Because I don't care what, like, you go to, like, Picasso and... and Rembrandt and all those dudes that were making art a long, long time ago. They couldn't sell their art then. Right, wasn't it Van Gogh that was like living in a um, like barely making it? I mean, he was kind of nuts though. But craziness sells. Those guys were crazy then, so people were like, yeah, I want to buy their stuff now. He cut his ear off. Can I buy his ear? But yeah, art is super subjective, right? That's my whole point with this rant. And I don't mean to offend any Van Gogh, Rembrandt, Picasso, or Crazy People fans. Enjoy your Crazy People. Actually, I was a, a big fan of Salvador Dali, Dali. That man was a complete and utter nut. And just to be clear, I could not do what he did. All right, so there we have it. We've got some boxes. That's squares. Whole bunch of squares. And some of them look pretty good. I mean, they're not all fantastic, but... My eyeballs seem to be getting better. Maybe. I don't know. You be the judge for that. Anyway, thanks for joining. Listen to me rant. Enjoy your box drawing and have a fantastic day.